My name is Kate. Uh, I'm a small business owner. I run a business that helps support women um, that are in labor and having babies. I am studying to become a birth doula and every day that I wake up and do my job, I am overcoming the challenges of living with depression. There's a difference between sadness and distress and depression as a disease because when you have a significant life event, you know, a friend passing away, you know, my parents splitting up, um, most people who don't have a mental illness have the coping capacities to get past that within a suitable time frame. You're usually able to bring yourself around to go back to your life. The difference between someone who has depression in that instance is that as much as you're trying to keep going on with life, it doesn't get any better. And you need to find ways to make it better for yourself. Your brain doesn't automatically um, pick up the pieces for you. You have to figure out how to do that on your own. When I first started noticing that something was different, I started not being able to sleep at night. I was exhausted but I just couldn't sleep. Then of course, because I was up all night <laughs> during the day, all I'd want to do is sleep. And then I just kept getting sicker. I was missing a lot of time from my job. A lot of my friends were starting to say, well, you know, you can, you can never go anywhere because you're always sick. And that's when I kind of started realizing something wasn't quite right. Depression isn't just about feeling like you just don't want to keep going. For me, it felt like total exhaustion and not like, oh, I want to sleep all the time, but just like, I just didn't have the energy to do anything I want, I liked doing anymore. So I started going to see my family physician and uh, she said, well, do you think you could be depressed? And I said, no, of course not, because in my world, <laughs> depression means you're trying to kill yourself. <laughs> I just knew that I just couldn't sleep at night and was sleeping all day and didn't really feel like doing anything. Um, and I think it was probably about four months of regularly going to physician appointments before I finally said, I think you might be right. <laughs> I decided to go and put myself through like, um, a counseling program, see a counselor, but I had no income. So I had to go through the, like, the provincial health program for it. And I found myself in, a, in the bathtub once just wondering, if something were to happen to me and I just ended up staying in the tub forever, how long would it be before someone found me? There definitely is a stigma surrounding depression and mental illness. Um, I've experienced it firsthand, unfortunately. Really good example of that. I had a really awesome job um, working as a tour representative and it was a dream job for me. <sighs> they ended up letting me go from the job and they said that I wasn't enthusiastic enough after about four months. They said, no, you're just not enthusiastic enough and you're just not into it. And I said, well, I don't think you're right on that, but you do need to know that I do have depression. It is an illness. And sometimes what comes off as unenthusiastic is actually just me battling that on a daily basis. And the answer that I got to that from the person that had hired me was, well, if we'd known that at the time that we hired you, we would have maybe made a different decision. Technically, people aren't allowed to discriminate against you for that. They're not allowed to say, yeah, well, yeah we're not going to hire you because of this. Things that uh, help me deal and cope with depression, I hate to use the word get better because I don't think you ever get better from depression. You just learn how to cope with it. Um, really increasing your self-esteem and having people that support that. Um, so for me, it was just taking the time to look at the people in my life and what kind of an influence they had on me. Um, and as much as it was really hard to do, I actually t did cut two or three people out of my life that I just, every time I talked to them, it just triggered a huge spiral. <laughs> um, 
the other thing was supportive friends and family. I can't emphasize that enough. I have friends that understand that one of my hardest things is to make myself go out and do things. As much as I want to go out and do things, sometimes I just can't. So depression is a disease. Uh, it's something that I live with every day, um, but it's something that I've worked really hard to overcome. Uh, I own my own business. I'm really proud of how far I've come and every day I congratulate myself on the challenges that I face.